Hi, I'm Iggy with Lincoln Electric, and today we're going to go over how to do multi-pass on the Cooper app on Lincoln Electric's collaborative robots. So, first things first, we're just going to set up our parts, and then we're going to go ahead and just do the first weld, and then we'll just add layers, depending on how many layers you need to finish out that weld. So, first things first, let's go ahead and set up this first weld. We're going to go ahead and start here. We're going to press that little blue button, allow the us to move the machine around. Go to our first weld. First point, we're going to go ahead and press that green button. Then go to our end point. We're going to hold that green button. Then we can just move it out of the way a little bit. Now I'm going to want to do a weave in between those points so that way I get a little bit more better penetration. So I'm going to go ahead and change my weld, edit weld, go to my weld by numbers. And I'm going to go over to a six. So anything above four, so five, six, seven, eight, will all automatically have a weave. You can also automatically, or you can also set up your own custom weld dependent on the application or anything like that. So I'm going to use a six weld here, go ahead and press OK. Boom, at that point, all I got to do is press done, and then I will go ahead and weld this very first seam. Okay, now that, that first pass is done, we're going to go ahead and set up our second pass. In order to do that, we're going to come right in here to the screen. We're going to go edit. We're going to go right after our moves. We're going to go to uh, add pass right here. It's going to ask you that you uh, select the weld that we wanted to add. We want to say to start six. So we're going to go just press confirm. We're going to move the torch to that next pass. We're going to go press that blue button, unlock the machine, move it over where we want that pass to start. Go ahead and press the green button. Go ahead where you want that pass to end, and we're gonna hold that green button. And we just move it right back out of the way. Press that blue button, and again, we're going to go through. We're going to say, hey, I want to make sure the weld is on the right weld type. So I'm going to go back, do a six weld type again. Go ahead and press OK. Boom. From there, we're going to go ahead and press done. But since the job, uh, since we edited and we went and done, so it's going to rewrite the whole code, it's going to start from the very beginning. We want to go to the weld, the second weld, or the move, sorry, but right before the second weld and then we're gonna press move start program to here. So now it's gonna only do that second pass. Once we've got the job completed, right, so next time we'll do it again for the third pass and again for the fourth pass, so it doesn't re-weld the first pass and the second and the third. But on the next part, when the next entire part, we can run the entire job from start to finish without jumping to different points. So from here, we can do a dry run and then go ahead and run our job. Okay, and then we're just going to repeat that process for the third step. So we're going to go back to edit, add pass, press continue, bring the robot to that start position. Green button for start weld, right there. 
And again, we're gonna hold that green button for end of weld. Bring it up to where it's out of the way, press the blue button. And again, we're gonna come over and make sure our weld type is what we want. Press done. After it's done writing, we're gonna go ahead and go right before that weld three, move to start here, and we're good to go. So those are the steps you're gonna be able to take to go ahead and do a multi-pass on the Cooper app with the Lincoln Electric Cobot. Now, there is one thing that can be beneficial as well, is once the program is completed, you can actually put some pauses in there, so that way you have a little bit of time in between each weld to go ahead and clean those out so you're not welding right over any uh, uh, debris or anything like that. The way you're gonna do that is gonna go ahead and go to Edit, and then right after the move, or right after the welds, you can go ahead and press add here. And then scroll down just a little bit and you're gonna add weight. And then we can just wait for a certain time or wait for operator. I'm gonna go with wait for operator so that way it'll pause. And then we have to just press play again and we'll automatically play from there. We'll just, and we'll just go ahead and do that after each one of these. Go ahead and add here. Add weight for operator. Same thing down here. Add here. Add weight for operator. And then we don't have to do it towards the end. And at that point, we can just go ahead and press done, save the file, put on another piece, and you're off to the races. <laughs>